today i am going to be carrying on from the part one where i was talking about the universities that offer physiotherapy in south africa so today i'm going to be telling you the requirements of each and every varsity um, that offers physiotherapy in, in south africa <music> Hello everyone, it is Tanya, a physiotherapist. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button below and turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I post a video about physiotherapy. Today, I am going to be carrying on from the part one where I was talking about the universities that offer physiotherapy in South Africa. So today, I am going to be telling you the requirements of each and every varsity um, that offers physiotherapy in, in South Africa, the requirements um that you you need to meet in order for you to be um accepted in the universities to study physiotherapy in south africa i'll firstly start with uh sefaho maha to health sciences university smu the one that i attended so i have to start with it first so the requirements are you need to have a level four at least a level four in english uh, first additional language or home language a level four is um in the 50s range um 50 to 59 yes 50 to 59 percent so it is english home language or first additional language you have to have a level four in mathematics you have to have a level four in life sciences you also have to have a level four in physical sciences and a level four in life orientation and two additional subjects that you need to have a level four in and you need to have an APS of 28. And then let's go to the University of Cape Town. The University of Cape Town, you need to have a level 4 in mathematics, a level 4 in life sciences or physical sciences, a level 4 in English home language or first additional language, and three best subjects, excluding life orientation. Then let's go to University of KwaZulu-Natal, UKZN. You need a level 4 in Mathematics. You need a level 4 in Physical Sciences. You need a level 4 in Life Sciences, as well as a level 4 in English Home Language or First Additional Language, and an APS of 30. Then University of Pretoria, you need to have a level 4 in Mathematics, a level 4 in Physical Sciences, and a level four in English home language or first additional language with an APS of 30. Then at the University of Free State, you need to have a level five in your language of learning, a level five in life sciences, a level four in mathematics, and a level four in physical sciences, and an APS score of 33. Let's go to Fitz University. You have to have a level five in mathematics, a level five in physical sciences, a level five in English home language or first additional language and a level five in life sciences. In addition to that, they'll also look at the two best subjects. Let's go to the University of Stellenbosch. University of Stellenbosch, you need to have a level four in mathematics, a level four in physical sciences and a level four in life sciences. And Afrikaans is a strongly recommended subject in the University of Stellenbosch. I don't know for what particular reason, but they do strongly recommend Afrikaans. Then last but not least, the University of Western Cape. You need to have a level 4 in life sciences, a level 4 in physical sciences, a level 4 in mathematics, or a level 6 in mathematics literacy, math, math leads, a level 4 in English, and a level three in another language. And all these universities require you to write an NBT, which is a national benchmark test, which uh, will help them also in a place for you to study physiotherapy in each and every varsity. It is a requirement for each and every varsity for you to write a national benchmark test. So with research that I've been engaged in, it clearly shows that there is a new requirement for each and every university as well that you need to at least have eight hours observing a physiotherapist, a qualified physiotherapist, and you need to sign a certificate to show that you have been observing a physiotherapist for eight hours before you can apply. Otherwise, your application will not be considered. Now, I don't know how far true is it, but I do know that the University of um, 
um, Vets University, let me say, I do know that Vets University has been practicing this. It is there on their requirements, but I don't know how far with other universities if they've actually started implementing it, but it is another requirement. It, it is safe that you just do so. So, I hope you enjoyed this video if you're coming past this channel for the very first time then hit the subscribe button below turn on your post notifications to get notified every time i post and i'll see you in my next video bye